Every morning, I will wake up and get ready to take breakfast at the cafe. During this RMO, student is provided with three meals per day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Usually, after having my breakfast, I will clean up my room. I make sure that my room is always clean and neat because the hygiene will keep you healthy physically and mentally. So here I am enjoying my time by watching one of my favorite K-drama. You know that watching movies or TV show is a stress relief because when you watch movie, it relaxes your brain and you don't have to think about anything while watching. So if you guys feel stressed, you guys can go watch any good movies or TV show. Thank you to donators and volunteers who work hard to ensure the well-being of students while in campus. Since the first announcement on MCO by the Prime Minister, IOM has been committed in making sure that the welfare of the students is being prioritised. From the university level to the student level, a special task force team was created to help handling the situation within the campus. There are roughly 2,500 students staying inside the campus that are unable to go home during the MCO. To make sure that their welfare is guaranteed, there are many NGOs, individuals, along with government incentives that are committed in giving funds for food distribution. Since the first day of the MCO, the students have been receiving free meals from breakfast, lunch and dinner for every day. The food that was offered also varies every day, from nasi lao to pasta, chicken chop, nasi arab and many more. The students that are volunteers as the task force mainly help with the allocation of food within the mahala and coordinate the movement with the supplier outside the campus. They make sure that the food are enough and that every student will not be left out. There are around 100 volunteers that are voluntarily offered their energy to help with the everyday food distributions. The volunteers also help with the distribution of dry food supplies and other basic necessities. For example, we have alumni that distribute around 3,000 food packs that consist of 3-in-1 drinks, biscuit, bread and instant noodles for the student. They also for provide free body wash for each of the students. The donors and NGO also give other necessities like women's sanitary pad, detergent, toothpaste and other snacks for the students. These items are all being kept in the food bank at Wadi Budi and will be sent to the students upon request or urgency. Apart from the IIUM Student Task Force, we also have the IIUM Student Union which is taking many measures to assist the students during the MCO. Their job is mainly involved creating surveys on student situation in and out of the campus, getting volunteers and donations for cat food distribution, and also, the IUMSU has been currently giving financial assistance to students out of the campus, especially those from the B40 groups by donation initiated by the group. To make sure that the students spend their time well, there are many incentives created by the student bodies as well as IAUM Student Union to fill the students with productive activities every day. For example, we have many online forum, discussion, and sharing as well as quilia that was created online on variety of topics. There are also many challenges initiated like book review challenge by the IIUM Student Union and workout challenge by other student bodies. Since the 31st March, another interesting thing that is happening in our campus is the PPE project that was initiated by some proactive lecturers namely Dr. Irwan, Dr. Isham, Dr. Shamsina, Dr. Anisa, and Dr. Nuraini. It was created with the intention to assist the frontliners such as doctors and nurses in handling patients. The PPE created includes jumpsuit, surgical gown, accessories like face cover and foot cover. In producing the suits, they include around 40 volunteers, namely the students in campus, so that they are able to spend their time for the benefits of others, as well as lecturers and staff who are available in the campus. They also managed to involve a famous fashion designer, Salikin Siddiq, to help with the process. Currently, they are able to create up to 70 pairs of PPE every day. 
We hope that this project went beyond its objective and so their contribution will continue being an inspiration for all. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below and hit the notification bell for the latest update on the next episode. Stay tuned!